What's going on, YouTube? It's me, the Diva X, and it is 11.06 on June 11th, 2016. Welcome to yet another video blog on my life on the X list tonight. Uh, well, it happened, it came, it's gone, it went, it's over. Um, my birthday show and birthday has passed. Thank you guys all for the wonderful wishes, and thank you those who attended. I know I posted this on my Facebook, however, it's better to say it as well, darling, so you guys can hear it, so you guys can know that I mean it, and um, yeah. So a little bit about the performance. Um, th it, it, there's parts of it online because um, I have an itch inside my nose, and so that's the best way I can do that without like having to get up in there and dig. So if you see me do that, it's me trying to that's weird huh <laughs> I, don't, I can't I don't want to dig I'm not gonna dig I'm just gonna deal with it all right so um, my performance um, the performance was kind of like um, a journey um, if you you've I think the, there's the full performance of I rather go blind which is one of my all-time favorite songs um, and if you don't know Beyonce played um, 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 sorry, just getting text slash instant message. I don't know. Um, is played, um, Etta James and in Cadillac Records and she slayed as Etta James. Um, she played a full on, um, Etta James, if you don't know how to heroin um, addiction. Um, and, um, she sang these songs and I'd rather go blind is one of the songs. Um, it's on the album soundtrack and it's, it's an amazing soundtrack altogether, but, um, Beyonce slays at the Etta James songs. And there's some original tracks I believe on there as well. Um, not Etta, Etta James covers. Um, but I'd rather go blind is one of my favorite songs forever. Um, outside of Beyonce covering it, um, and doing it for the song. It, it's always been one of my songs that I love the Etta James sing. Um, and it kind of just goes with the storyline of, um, well, the, the reality of the situation is this, uh, this whole performance started with the breakdown of Panda. I'm addicted with Panda. I'm just like everybody else at this point in time in life. So, um, I, w after seeing the on the run tour, and I didn't talk about this because I didn't want to like allude to what was going to be happening, but um, she does this dance break in the middle at the end of Diva, um, of course, which I'm in my brain. I'm like, I've done Diva performance in the past, so I didn't want to just do what we, you know, what we've done in the past. Um, however, if you notice the moves from the beginning of um, the dance break that we did do, um, the the cut it slash dance. Uh, a panda dance break um the opening move is the diva moves from the video and let me tell you i when we first did that performance with me and sam and i believe chris it was chris um i struggled with that arm that that arm thing forever it was so it, it was just like my mental block and let me, we'll get into mental blocks in a minute but I struggled with that for such a long time, just getting the the right like cadence, I guess it was, and then like hitting it right with like all the body parts included, um, and so um, that was one of kind of like the ongoing jokes about um, the diva performance. But at any rate, so those moves come back to haunt me, um, which I actually this time was not an issue at all. I mean, like, those those were the easy moves, um, and so glad we've done that before, um, and so. Um, I saw this dance break. I knew I wanted to do it. I knew I wanted to incorporate Panda somehow. And then, um, you know, after watching the visual album again, that's that, that the, the vocal, the, the poetry thing, that snippet that Beyonce reads prior to sorry is just like everything. And, um, when it, it's just, it, it, it kind of just all came together. And then I have, um, I rather go blind the Beyonce version on one of my, um, on my iHeart Beyonce playlist. And of course I heard it and I was like, Oh bitch, this is it right here, right now in this. And, and so I just, that with that into sorry, it was just everything. And I said this before the show began, um, you know, in the past I've done performances and I've been really kind of meticulous about, um, you know, having everything planned out and like, it needs to be this and this and this and this and this. Um, and I think that's probably why I'm just like, I became unmotivated to continue to, um, perform in that manner. I just kind of like, eh, maybe it's not as essential because unfortunately, um, 
uh, people don't appreciate it as much. Um, um, and it's not, the, and that's, that's not why you should do things. Trust me. But when it's not being, a, when you, um, basically when you're stressing yourself out over something that people aren't going to be like totally like know that the, the, the effort and the, the stress that goes into it or appreciate the stress and the effort that goes into it. Um, you kind of like tend to like, well, what am I going to do that for? Um, so I, I, I just kind of like lost my, not my thunder about performing, or I think it was my thunder about putting performances together because one, there hasn't even been any music that's kind of been inspiring that made me want to be like, that's what I want to perform um, it, it, until this Beyonce album. And if you listen to the Beyonce album, there's not any like get it, get it performances. There are these like performances where it's highly vocalized and, and it's it's a story. It's a story. And so um, the performance really just kind of, told itself if you will or you know delineated itself and i'm down with it because it was super fun i had a great time um if you've seen any of the videos uh either kara's like little highlight reel um the i think um there was another video posted of just again i'd rather go blind um and there's just been various posts um that i've seen of parts of it so super excited the way that went in rehearsals for that oh my god so the the uh, the, the main premise of the performance was not Difficult. I mean, I did the whole thing by myself. The, the beginning part, it was a slow jam, so I just been there with the mic. Um, the dance, the, the the vocals break, not difficult. Just put a little visual together. The performance, it walked through. We did it. Got parts that we needed to hit. Everything else seemed a little bit freestyle. That dance break, although it was only a minute long, um, the, it's so fast. And Beyonce just does it effortlessly because she does it. She's been doing that dance break for some time now i'm um, just putting it in different words order um no shade just saying um but i did it um uh, the tuesday before i like we ran through it i got it it was working we were doing it we left came back the next day just to fine tune it could not do the performance I had solidified the performance completely, Th that dance break, that minute dance break, I had solidified it completely, well, the parts that were, the, the panda part, everything before the panda part, it was not difficult, um, or I, I got in my brain, but the panda part, I, I think I learned it, or I solidified it in my brain, completely different than what it was I, I don't know how or why but I'm there and I'm we're practicing and it's just not happening for about 20 to 30 minutes straight I could just not do it we kept doing it and I'm like I just can't I, I was like gonna, I was on the verge of tears I I just I just was becoming overwhelmed with con because we just were doing just the dance break on rotation I think I just was just too much into making it happen um and so it, that was a difficulty for me um but then I just had to like get a step away clear my fucking brain and then just do it um and i think there was a I, I don't know that's just my brain i had so much fun though and that's what it comes down to and um i feel like the performance went amazing well amazingly well and i can't wait to do something else like i'm really i have that motivation as far as the costumes go now let me tell you about the costume situation i struggled with like because I wanted to be cohesive with the girls and then um, also, you know, for the opening number, I really just wanted it to be like very simple and um, fierce. And I, I'm going to tell you those costumes, um, they took no time to make um, as once I had the idea. And the, I was so I was overthinking the whole thing um, because I wanted it to be perfect. And again, going back to like my old habits, I just wanted it to be everything um, without being everything i don't know without being too much i guess too muchery um and so i think it went out all well i think it went off without a hitch i from what i can understand and what i seen in the video i think i did all the moves right um in my brain i i can't watch myself um perform like not right away while it's still fresh like let the let the scab heal over and then like go back and watch it well you can't well you you know let it let it let it linger um, so that's the kind of person I am. Um, I haven't really watched the whole performance yet back, um, but I hope to have it online soon. The problem is, I think it's going to be copywritten. Um, I think Sorry is going to get blocked um, because it's not necessarily a single yet. And like um, Parkwood and, and Columbia has been kind of like very particular about what songs off the new Lemonade album are like copywritten. And I see a lot of the 
I don't know. I'm afraid it's just going to be blocked. And so if the whole performance doesn't get uploaded um, in the way that it should, then I'm sorry. <laughs> Literally sorry. Um, because it's not my fault. It's Columbia's fault. They don't allow us to use Beyonce songs. But maybe because it's, you know, not, it's, it's like a live performance. I don't know. We'll see. We'll I'll do my best. Let's put it that way. Other than that, you know, ever uh, just kind of getting in the mojo again of performing and putting costumes together, it really just kind of like added some fuel to my flame. Um, because the thing is, I um, enjoy that stuff. I really, I, I enjoy it. I think I just lost the um, understanding of why I enjoyed it. I lost the, because I hadn't done it for so long. And um, with the anniversary, I did perform, but like, there's so much energy going into it that I don't really have, um, and it, there, there's so much, uh, it's such a bigger picture that I'm painting when it comes to the anniversary show, um, that there's so many other things that I'm worried about other than just my performance and just my costumes and just my anything, um, that there's so much more that my brain is occupied and, and fulfilled on, um, that, um, I think I didn't have the time to really, like, get my brain or uh, excuse me get my brain around I got the hiccups now um I didn't really have the time to get my brain around um the, you know the, the vibe of working on my costume and and preparing my performance to the way I wanted it I I made it I did have it I mean I, I did do it um and I did put the effort but then it was like the whole knee thing and then um like um, there was just a whole lot going on, and so I don't really feel like I had... It, this was all about my performance, um, my birthday, and I really kind of got that, um, me, um, that that selfishness stuff going on, uh, where I really got to focus on the representation of what I wanted it to be, and the story, and the arc of the, st the, arch of the story, and, and just everything. So, <sighs> Yeah, I'm, see, that that's the problem with about being an artist, and I call myself an artist, not like, you know, uh, the creativity part of it, and, and putting things together, like, you really just want it to be, like, on fleek, and then when it's not, or, you know, when you're trying to make sure that it's on fleek, it's just difficult, because if it's not on fleek, then you get upset, and then it's just a mess, it's just a mess, but I had a wonderful time, and everything, I think, went well, and then they got me this bomb-ass Oreo cake, so whoever made the suggestions, I believe it was Rich, Good job from Rich for making the suggestion. Oreo cake was the bomb dot com. Um, and so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, what's coming up? We have a few things, um, some few great shows coming up. Um, we have the Battle of the Ariana. If you're interested in participating in that, please message the, or go to the event page, sign up. Um, songs are getting gobbled up. We have one spot left. Um, and so, hey, if you're interested, get up in it, get into it, as I so often say. Um, we have the toddy after party, and then um, we have a few, just, I'm super excited. Um, I'm super excited, and that's just it. So, yeah, thanks for watching again, and um, tell a friend. And, um, yeah. Uh, oh, Fresno Pride was uh, awesome. It was super hot, though. Ugh, it was so hot. Um, but we ha I had a good time. I was out there for a little I can't say really. The parade was amazing, um, but the heat just made it so, like, overwhelming. Um, but I went out there, supported, did what I, did my part, said what I was going to, said what I, <laughs> did what I said I was going to do, go out, promote, do my thing. The night festival was amazing. Um, had a great time out there. Um, every, it was just a good time. Uh, good, good pride, good Fresno pride 2016. Although I will say this in closing, <laughs> I will say that I did not see a lot of familiar faces out at the festival, actually even out at the parade. And here's what I say about that. Um, and I'm sure you guys have heard this before, but we have to support our local stuff, especially if this year was such an important year because of, um, all the bullshit that's been going on with Fresno Pride. And if you have, if you can save money to go out of town to a LA Pride, San Francisco Pride, any other Pride outside that you have to travel to, then you can save $5 to attend the Fresno Festival. Even if you don't attend the Fresno Festival, then donate at least your $5 to the Fresno Festival. Um, because, you know, it's just a thing. Um, you have to support your local community. Um, and that's just it. I, 
yeah. It's a little irritating, um, but hey, that's Fresno.